We've got a brand new 2020 RAV4 damage on the lift gate and the bumper. Plastic bumper is textured, you know, it's not painted. Told the customer need to be replaced for a perfect repair on the bumper. They said, no, can you try to fix it? I said, sure. So $150 removed the dent on the bumper. And I don't remember what it was on the lift gate. I think it was around $730 total for the total repair on the bumper and the lift gate. I'll post that up in the, in the notes. But as you can see, it's got um, three body lines that actually go through the dent. One of them you can't see, which is very interesting. And it threw me off while I was in the middle of that repair. It's so, so faint and shallow the body line, which is very difficult to see. But you can see the two body lines that's going through it at the bottom. And um, that's what threw me off in the middle of this repair is not being able to see that third body line because it's so shallow. Or it's not very sharp, I should say. So the first step you do is um, get access to the back side of the repair. Well, what I did was take the interior trim panel off. And as you can see here, I did that. And I'm shining a light into the back side to show you that there's a little bolt right there you gotta take off and the rest are just clips and it just snaps off that little black piece. There's a lot of wax in the box, in the inside of this uh, lift gate, which kind of was challenging because when I heated the panel up, it melted that wax and my tool was slipping and sliding on the back side of that panel. But there it is, you can see the multiple dents in the back side of the panel right there on that lift gate. Nah, eh, not too bad, plenty of access. And uh, which made it kind of nice for the repair, having that much access. There were um, multiple places I went through to get act, um, push with. And one was the long route. I stood on the outside of the lift gate and uh, well, it was difficult. It was very challenging. But this is what it looked like after I uh, got going, maybe, I don't know how long in here, maybe 20 minutes or so. Probably not even that, but. I was able to get some of that body line up and the second dent right there, the sharp one on the bottom dent of the body line, I couldn't get up, couldn't get a tool in there. It just kept slipping and slipping and slipping. And I didn't want to use a sharp tool. Uh, so I had to figure something out. I really wanted to use a blunt tip to move as much of that body line as I possibly could. And you can see um, when I'm cross check, this is a cross check, you can see how sharp that dent is right there above the body line and around that body line area. You just couldn't see that sharpness from the other angle, but this angle, you can see it very easily. So I had to think about it. It's like, what am I gonna do here? And I kind of said, all right, let's just take the latch off. And that's what you see right here in the video. I'm taking the latch off. And once I was able to take the latch off, it's only three bolts that hold it on. Very easy to take off. I didn't disconnect the latch just because I didn't wanna have to scan the vehicle. Just you, know, so you don't have to scan it, but I just hung it up. There's the D-ring I used to get um, leverage with on the original part of the pushing. But once I took the latch out right there I'm pointing to, I was able to get straight into that hole and I was all over top of that dent. I mean, it was just so much easier. I had a face on angle looking straight into the dent. I didn't have to reach really far out. Uh, it was a really comfortable position to work from and I was able to pinpoint my pushes exactly where I wanted them to be. And that's, if you can do that, get as close as possible and that way you can pinpoint your pushes. And it just makes your repairs that much faster and easier for you, for your body especially. And you see, um, I was able to get a lot of that body, that low sharp dent up with uh, the R4 cherry tip, dent craft. And I used a double bend rod, pretty much what I use a lot if I can. And you can see, all I did was just uh, push it out, got a lot of the dent out, and then I tapped down all the high spots to get it flat. And once I was able to get it flat, I just repeated that process like three or four more times until I got the repair perfect. And this, this dent came out like 99.9%. .9%. It was freaking 
beautiful. And you'll see that. And um, yeah, if you can't always get head on and work it, start your den out, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. So this is what it looks like, I guess, after I'd mock down those high spots, you can see how much flat and more even it is. There's still a lot of work to be done um, with chirp tips to clean it up and a lot more crown work, knockdowns and blending hammer, things like that. But yeah, you can slightly see that second body line just to, I mean, it's so faint. You got one on the bottom that's obvious, the second one is right above the body, the bottom, and it's very obvious, but the third one is very faint. Very, very faint. So this is what it looks like, completely repaired, sanded and buffed, finished, without a light. And you can see the, the bumper is done, repaired, and it's got slight imperfection in it because that's what happens when you have that kind of textured bumper. You're never gonna get that out unless you replace it. And it's just unfortunate that's the way it is. But you can see the lift gate came out very nice. Look at the clouds in the background. I mean, it's beautiful. I wish I could have put trees or something, but there really wasn't from that angle. I mean, look, it looks great. It looks really good. I'm happy about that. The customer was ecstatic. I think I was on this repair two and a half, three hours or so. Guys, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know your thoughts. If you have questions or anything, let me know and I will respond. Thanks for watching the video, guys. As always, have a good day.